Hello and welcome back to Mars. I'm Mick. We're playing Station Ears. Now we are still trying to terraform Mars. Oh, uh, the shrubbery has grown. I've uh, put in some more fertilizer. And yes, we know the fertilizer is not working very well, but um, uh, it's kind of still better than nothing. Uh, I did run some tests here when it was first, the yes, farming update first came out. Now the speed poop does um, does grow a little bit faster. I sort of grew a few sets of plants there, and those so ones that were fertilised with the um, decayed food uh, did grow sprout first. Ones that were uh, fertilised with the um, uh, with the yield fertiliser, they didn't have any extra yield, but they they, they sprouted uh, second. The ones that were fertilised with the biomass. Uh, sprouted about the same time as the ones that weren't fertilized at all. So um, Yeah, it doesn't quite work as well as it used to but it's still better than nothing Now these ones are the perennials. They're all pumpkins. So uh, I think I'm only going to fertilize them once and we get the accelerated growth time out of them uh, Still waiting for the mushrooms to decay 4.8 hours. Yeah So in 800 days time it'll be ready. Um, yeah No rush all uh, right, now we are just about set to start uh, doing these things. Um, so uh, uh, this one will be for temperature, and this one will just be for pressure. So I could probably do them pretty easily, as I just need to get. They'll be using the same sort of gas as we're using out here. Uh, the cold room will well be colder, and the other room will be less pressure but otherwise the same gas so I could just uh, blow gas in from outside and then just have a flow through to keep the gas moving and um, bump it back outside again into the main room where it can be heated up again um, but the, the one with the pollutant in it that one will be a different story because I'll, I'll have to um, well put pollutant in it um, but uh, yeah, but anyway, we're going to have to wire up these things over here because it's about time we started um, doing the the thingy with those thingies and stuff. Um, so I might... Uh, I've got guns. I need some more batteries. Uh, probably grab another one of them. I don't have another one. So if I grab another one of them, because uh, I will get... Two ferns. Now, oh, like two or two of them will be enough then. Um, so I need some batteries. Uh, yep. Yeah, so I'll grab some batteries and uh, we shall start picking out a fern that will work for that stuff. Now, I've got chips for them. Uh, I shall need to get the gas in. Uh, that one has a cable on it, so I can't use that one. Uh, let's just, um, here we go. Um, I can do that. So if I just uh, take off you, there, I can put you back on to there. Now I can take that pipe down and into the room. Come in there, into there. And perhaps go into that one as well. I can pipe across the roof. We should be good. Um, and I guess I can just blow straight back out into it, couldn't I? Uh, anyway. So you come into there. Um, I'll have to put pressure in there. I can use an active vent. So I'll need a back pressure regulator to get the stuff back out of there. Uh, you can just cool it down. And, um, and one over here with another pressure re input. Uh, it can just uh, blow everything straight out. Uh, so you can go into there, so I need an active vent. Um, 
need some active vents and passive vents. Uh, consoles. Need some sensors. Uh, you got one. You'll need one. Uh, yeah. And you'll need one. Right, sensors are done. How many vents? No, I have to go get some vents. That's right, gotta go switch the rockets on anyway. Um, we're getting there, some batteries, some vents, some rockets, and uh, let's see how we're going. Uh, I can wander in with my helmet open now. Yay, probably start dumping my suit here. And uh, don't forget to put it on when I go into there. What's uh, that airlock doesn't have an escape on it, does it? Whoops. All right, now. Um, rockets. Now, once again, we still have to upgrade them and get them a better way of better way of uh, unloading. That can wait. We can do that once we've got all the uh, uh, all the plants starting to grow. Here we go. We're away. Now I need vents, vents, and uh, pressure regulators. How are we doing in here? Are we still a room again? We are still a room. That's good stuff. Uh, so I shall want some. Uh, some vents, some of them. Uh, I shall need some active vents. I shall need some uh, volume pumps or pressure regulators. Pr uh, what do I want? Um, uh, I probably want regulators. Uh, or not. Um, well, I got some regulators now. And I shall need some uh, volume pumps, at least a couple of them, and some active vents. Uh, um, two, I need at least one of them for the. Ooh, I should probably go collect some pollutant. Don't need the pollutant yet. Don't worry about it. Um, and some active vents. Now, uh, you, 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 and two. And three. Oh, that's four. Oh, that's pretty close. Uh, and a more of them. Uh, right. Uh, so how did we end up last time? Still going. Five megapascals. Eighteen megapascals. Yep, lots. Ah, uh, bugger all. And still got plenty of water. Now I do have the Shoot closed on that one. We're okay. Now I did. Uh, I did remove our, my pollutant tank up here, so I've got to put that downstairs. Uh, so I'll just steal some pollutant from the uh, cold tank we got down there, and uh, that will be my source of pollutant, because I should be able to fit a heap of that in a tank. Uh, well. When it's cold, but we'll blow cold gas into the room, so I may have to put an air conditioner in there to heat it all up again. <sighs> Yay! Now. Ah, I had some pressure regulators. Ah, and some volume pumps. Well, I got some more. Yay! Um, right, so if I want. Active vent. Uh, yeah, I might put you there right above the plant thingies. I'll put the pipe to the front, which means I have to turn around the sensor. Uh, 
Right, so. Yay, good shot. Um, you, I'll turn you around to make the wiring a bit easier. And get through the doorway. I must put some wider doorways on. Uh, for coordinated people. Uh, I put you right above the cell that the plant's in, because that's where we want the important readings to be taken. I'm going to hook up you. Uh, so you'll have to hook up to... Um, oh. Ah, yeah. Maybe, uh, it's probably not going to have to do much. Uh, so if I just hook up... Bent, oh, I'll need a heat pipe. Oh, crap. Um, can I, oh, I can't put a cooler in there. Ah, uh, oh shit. Uh, well, maybe I'll do the pressure one first. That sounds like a good idea. Um, so, we shall need to hook up you. Um, that's not a spanner. You shall hook up to that. I've got to hook up to the U2. I've got to hook up to, uh, that's a pipe down there, so I should have uh, power and data, hook up to you, hook up to you, hook up to you, hook up to you, hook up to you. The pressure is the only thing I need in there, so I'll need an output as well. Uh, so that's where I need the regulators. So, if I have a back pressure regulator to go outwards, uh, so I need to wire you up. I need to get a cable out, so if I put you there, I'll have the wrench room vent in there. And uh, you, <laughs> I get in the bloody doorway. Ah, to you, you. Um, so now I should just have to hook up. You, 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 you. Uh, no. 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 Well, I can come out to there. I need to hook up. You. Uh, you. You. Um, there we go, and you, right, switch off that light, might be a bit easier, you can hook up you and you, uh, which I can do, just up there, and, whoop, and I'll hook you into the light fitting. There. Nice. Uh, switch on. So I'm going to hook up the water. Um, I'm not going to have enough water pipes now, am I? Uh, oh no, I printed up a heap of them. That's okay, we're good. So our water is right here. So you're going to have to come in to there. 
And it looks like I want to use insulated pipes. Well, good for me. Um, spanner. I have to come out there because I can't put it out the bottom of the door. Um, right. I'm running out of them, so let's go back to the good old uninsulated pipes. Right, now you should... I wanted to hook up that one. Well done. Um, I don't have a daylight sensor in this room, so I'll need to switch these lights on and off. Um, so now I'll have to hook you up over there and you will have to hook into there so um, you have to go that way so that pipe can go up into there um, you I don't need to hook up the data. Um, you. And. Yep. You're hooked up. Yep. I shall need another sensor, which will be a daylight sensor, which I can put into here, so as I can switch on the uh, the day the uh, thing we jiggers. Yeah, there you good. Okay, so I shall need. Uh, this is going to be the pressure one. So back pressure regulator, I suppose we better see what we can actually set it at first, hadn't we? Oh. We're good. Uh, so you are the pressure room. Pressure room sensor. Now, you can be the pressure room sensor, you can be the pressure room sensor on that one. Nice. Now, uh, you are the Uh, pressure room vent. You are the pressure room pressure room pressure regulator, and you will be the pressure room hydroponic station. Right. I think that's all we need. Um, right. So if I shut the door, that should uh, reduce the pressure to whatever pressure we want. The vent should keep it blowing in new atmosphere as needed. And that one will keep letting it out. Okay, so um, I guess we can code that. I probably need to put something, find something in there. So uh, which one is number one? Right, right. So, okay, let's, let's not get ahead of ourselves here. Probably too late. I'm already ahead of myself. Um, you know, I need some batteries. 
So uh, yeah, I'll just steal these. Well, you, you can have a better one. Fair trade. Uh, I needed two, didn't I? Well, you don't quite get the same fair trade. Where did that battery go? Right. Now, I'll use a heap of these ones here because I want to test and see how they work. Um, yep. Right, now our plants. We have our shrubbery. I have fern seeds. Now, question will be is. Um, If I take a sample from the parent, um, oh, I've got to put power onto all of them, don't I? Oh. If I take a sample from the parent, is that going to be different to the children? I'm pretty sure it is. Will, will all the children be diff different, or will they all be the same? Now let's say this. The power's beside the chair. Wow, okay. Um, be like savages and not have chairs. I could put the chairs over there, couldn't I? Um, uh, you, you, and you. There we go, we're still civilized. Um, you with the cutters. And. So I'll have to come out to the yard to get past the chairs. Uh, Doop again. Oh, I've still got to hook it up, don't I? Doop, doop, doop. There was data. Um, doop, your power. Oh, now we're good. Right. Uh, you did do your thing, didn't you? I guess so. Right, so we are the fern. Pretty much bang in the middle. Um, yep, bang up the middle of most stuff there. Right, so the trick is if I grab, yeah, yeah. You and you are you all the same? Uh, well, I'll place first off, I'll grab you. Now, uh, you are uh, one twenty seven. 98, 99, 7.57. Uh, yeah, you're different. Well, that was expected. Um, so, if I now take a look at all the, all of them, so if we grab you, grab you, and Grab you. Ah, uh, all the offspring going to be the same. Uh, 98, 10, 01, 55. No, they're not. Um, okay, right. 
So we want one that has pressure range. So your so it does go down to 10 kilopascals. Now is that just the UI or is that the total for what I can actually do? So now if we want pressure uh, 50 to 100 you are 54 that's actually higher isn't it um, you are 57 ah okay so 50 you're the lowest one um, so if I take you now as I understand it you're the splicer um, you are the Stabilizers. That's no, oh, no, no, no. That's, that's all right. Don't panic. The on-off switch is over here. Um, now I put you into there. Yep. Now we want to destabilize the uh, oh, I've got to switch it on, do I? That's right. Now we want to destabilize the I can't do it. Okay, so we've set. We're now destabilizing. Right. Um, we want to destabilize the temperature. Uh, transport usage. Light tolerance, toxins, high pressure, attrition. Low temperature tolerance. Oh, okay, so they're actually separate. Okay, so destabilize the low pressure. Um, low pressure tolerance. Right, so I need to destabilize that so it will change uh, a lot. I think that's how it works. So now becomes more susceptible to change. So, okay, they've all gone down and the low temperature has gone to minus 0.5. Everything else has gone to 0.1. I can do it again. I think that's all I can do it. And, oop. Right, so now low temperature tolerance has been destabilized. I could stabilize all the rest of them there, but I don't really care. Um, now, that should be a destabilized temperature tolerance. So now I should be able to bring it into here. Yeah. And you're thriving. Uh, right. So now, um, power on you would be handy. Um, well, we'll give you that kind of power. Right, so they should be growing in there. Uh, we shall need some code which I haven't hooked up. Um, you are up there, the pipe is in there. Uh, Oh crap, how am I going to get that in there? Uh, so I can't come around there. Um, right. Okay, so. Uh, so this is my unit, the pipe is in there, I can't go around there. That's the cabling from my mixer, so I can't go around there. Uh, maybe I should put the pipe out over here. That'll let me put cables in there. Uh, right. That might be the way to do it. Now I've got to get this pipe through there. Damn it. Ah, right. Right, 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 right. Uh, well, I've got to get to the back of you. So maybe our power is coming in that way. Um, 
we hook up you, 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 uh, you, 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 and we had cables, nice. Mm, yeah. Uh, through here. Right, so I need to hook up you um, across the roof to everything else. What am I doing? I'm not hooking up this one. Why am I doing this now? Uh, but hook up to you, to you, to you, up to you. Uh, you. I shall need a pressure regulator in here as well, so I'll have to come back for that. But. Uh, We'll just hook you up there for now. Um, right, I'll be back. Uh, right, let's give that door some power. I can come into there. Right, you need a power. Okay, so I shall want to hook that up. So I shall need the the uh, pressure room. So if I hook you up, is the uh, pressure test? Uh, so what did we have on that one? Uh, put that away. Our low pressure could come down to. So it's supposed to be comfortable down to 25 kilopascals. Uh, so do I put it in the ideal range and have it grow quickly, bring it down to 50 kilopascals, or I really torment it and take it down to 25? So it still should have full growth range. Um, I don't know what we have to do there, but we can take it down to 25. Well, we'll see how well it grows. Uh, cause we're going to measure the growth, we're going to put it onto here, and if it grows really, really poorly at 25, I guess we push it back up again. Uh, so put a heap in there, or just a one. Uh, well, we'll see. Uh, now, so you are the pressure housing, so let's see what we got. Uh, shall clear that. Now I shall alias the vent D0, uh, alias the um, pressure regulator D1, uh, alias the display D2, and alias the Hydroponics. That's not right. Hydroponics uh, D3. I guess I have to alias the, scent, the uh, solar sensor, uh, oh, the sensor as well. The sensor to D4. Do I need a sensor in there? I need it for the displays. Uh, I don't need it for the program, no, do I? Because all it's going to be doing is using the vent and the back pressure regulator to control everything. Um, alias the solar sensor. Sensor to D5, and I shall need to define the hydroponics um, to. From F1, Ponix Station. Right. You. That should be all we need. So I'm going to have to switch on and off the hydroponics uh, stations with the sun. So I just switch it on and off with day and night will probably do us for now and then. 
So, um, we start, we yield. So if we load into R0 from the solar, solar sensor, the vertical. Now I've got a plane on the roof, so 0 is pointed straight down. Uh, 180 is pointed straight up, so if it's between 90 and 180, it is daytime, so switch it on. So set greater than, set R0, if the angle is greater than uh, 90, when it's daytime, uh, save batch, uh, hydroponics, kicks on R0. All right, so that should switch the grow lights on and off, well, for all of them. Uh, right. So now I need to right, save the vent. Uh, I can really do that outside. Oh, there it goes again. <laughs> right, save. How many are taken off then? Uh, save the vent uh, mode to zero, because it's blowing inwards. Save the vent to pressure external, pressure external, which means the pressure outside of the vent. If I set that to uh, 20, 25, uh, we'll go for 26. What the hell? Um, if we go for tw 27, <coughs> and I shall save to the uh, pressure regulator um, setting 26. And another one. Wow, rockets are going bananas. Right, so active vent will try and pressurize it up to 27. The pressure regulator will try and suck it back until 26. We'll have a constant flow of gas through there. So as the plant uses up uh, the gas or the temperature changes, um, it should be constantly circulating gas. So that should be all we have to do on those ones there. So um, uh, say vent on one. Uh, so that's all they do. They should just switch on. And that's all. Jump to the start. All I really have to do is control control the solar lights. Uh, the rest is all just under the settings. Well, I didn't really need code for that at all. What the hell is going on up there? Right. Um, right. I, did I not put any power on there? I did, didn't hook it up. I knew that. And, uh, right. There we go. Now, if I put on the vent, which was the pressure pressure room vent the uh, pressure room regulator the display oh I didn't read that whoops uh, uh, pressure room Display uh, they do how are we doing in there? Uh, you again uh, pressure room display pressure room hydroponics the Sensor was the pressure room sensor. 
and you are the light sensor. Uh, which I haven't hooked up. No. Okay. Right. Try again. You are the solar daylight sensor. Right. So that should be all. Now I had to do the display. Uh, you. 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 Uh, edit. So now I've got to find where it is. So I shall uh, load slot into R0 from the hydroponics uh, slot. Oh, let's go through them all. Zero. Efficiency. I C I there we go efficiency uh, that will come out as a ratio we want to have a number out of a hundred so we'll multiply it by a hundred um, by 100 we can just put the display into percentage mode but then I don't have any decimal places so we'll just multiply it by a hundred that'll do us and save display setting uh, zero from export you to into there oh I got it right why are you going down I didn't switch you on um, right switch the pressure regulator on um, I could just do that Uh, it's daytime. Why aren't you switched on? Um, uh, it's set greater than ninety. Oh, okay. It's not greater than 90. Three equals 82. Uh, so why are you going down? You should be going up now. Um... Okay. Well, that's not boding well, is it? Um, it's gone down pretty quick. Uh, um, 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 Uh, so 50 is what it could yeah, okay maybe I want to put it back up to 50 um, right uh, if we put you back to 50 for now and uh, 49 now wait a minute the vent had to be higher Right, so it's back to 51 kilopascals. Uh, still going down, but not as quickly. Um, so, yeah, maybe I don't want to push it down into the red. I'll keep it at that. We'll see what difference it makes. If it doesn't make much difference, um, I'll try something different. Uh, now, you 
coming to there. I shall need to hook up the data, which I can't because of the pipe. Um, well, we'll find a way. Oh, there's a way. Good for me. Uh, you. I don't have that hooked up there because that's not hooked up. Uh, right. Nope. You. So, no. no. Um, so, you go to there. Then up to there, and then onto there. I haven't hooked up that vent. Um, if I get out the doorway. So I need to hook up uh, uh, you. I shall need the, the vent and the regulator. That's not the vent I want. That's the vent I want. I need to hook up you. Uh. Oh, I need the heat pipe as well. Ah, uh. I can get a pipe out, up, outside from there. So the insulated pipes. Ah, uh. um, right. So, well, you. You've got to come into here. You will need to hook up to back pressure regulator. That's a volume pump. That's still not it. So if I hook you up to there, I can get you to there. Power cable comes out there. Um, it should be the same sort of hook up there. Um, So you just blow straight back out into the room ventilation, which can then be brought out into here where it'll warm up again. I still haven't got an air conditioner out here, have I? Right. Okay. Uh, so the air conditioner will need to maybe just uh, blow straight through to. Uh, you and you. Um, so you and you, and I shall need my heat pipe. Uh, nine, fifteen. Uh, right, and wire up you. Uh, I fit that in quite nicely over here. What do I do differently? Wow, now that is a back pressure regulator, we're good. It's blowing out of the room and back into uh, do, do, you and you. Right, so that'll blow in. I've missed the damn vent. Well, good on ya. Right, that's better. <clears throat> I can set that to regular pressure, regular temperature. 
the regular pressure, where you can get back to regular pressure, you can be set to make it cold. Okay, now that should be coming out over here, which I can put out the roof uh, somewhere. That'll be under mountain. Uh, I've got some radiators. I could just put it up here. That should be fine. I'll need to pressurize it too. Okay, so I need more pipes. Uh, I could just use regular pipes from here, couldn't I? Um, right. Uh, so pressurize it. I can do easily with a vent which I easily have right um, uh, uh, there we go so I'll pressurize that that should be enough right there we go. Um, now I need some plants which are cold tolerant. Uh, you're going up, so you're getting darkness now, which makes you happy. Right, so now that one I have to set to uh, temperature. So you've got to change the minimum temperature on you. We've got door, we got you, we got you, uh, we got you. Oh, yes. You're good. You're good. So we'll set you to 70. Uh, I set you to middle of the range. So I need to put out my radiators, which I got just right here. Uh, and we will be getting close to tormenting some more plants. Uh, nope, that one. Oxygen low. Oops. Oxygen critical. Low pressure. Yes. Okay. Speaking of tormenting vegetables. Ah. Uh, yeah. No vents. Uh, you. I didn't leave myself many of them, did I? Ah, oh, that'll do. Ah, uh, I could probably still a bit cold in there, so I might actually pull off a couple more of them. Uh, two more? Yeah, why not? Whee! Yeah. Right, your growth is going back up again. Nice. Uh, now I should be able to start you and then I can stop you because uh, I've got to rename everything now. Uh, where's my numerator? Oh, there are as you blow. Uh, now you are the temperature.
Hydroponic station, you are there. Temperate Chavent. Uh, Chavent, you are there. Temperature sensor, uh, you are there. Right, your pressure regulator and the display. Right, your display, which is not displaying a temperature at all. Okay. So now, if I set to 70, switch you on. Put you on, close you up. Yeah, you shall be the uh, switch on. Uh, okay, I've not hooked you up. Uh, you, you, um, you. Oh, there we go. Now you are the temperature of the temperature sensor. Um, get rid of them. And you are the pressure of the temperature temperature gas sensor. Oh yeah, yeah, you're right, 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 we set it at 25. We don't want to actually set it at 25, we want it to be cold. But um, thanks for trying. Uh, right, so I've now got to find a plant which will grow in the cold. Uh, let's go back to the shrubbery. Um, right, now you can go in there. Nice. You, you. Now, uh, you. Go in there. You. And you. We're going to find one that is good at being cold. Now, growth temperature range. You're 21 degrees. It goes down to minus 30. Okay, so we might not have to get our temperature up to uh, up above freezing. Well, 21, um, 20, you're the winner, and 20, you're the same. So 20 to 30, and you were 20 to 29. Does that mean you're better at being cold? No, because high temperature was different. Oh, it's probably need to keep the high temperature high and uh, the low temperature low. All right, so if I take you, now I want to destabilize the, the uh, cold growth. Uh, high temperature, low temperature. Low temperature tolerance. Um, I did do low pressure last time, didn't I? Ah, oh, shit. I don't remember. <laughs> well, this one's definitely low temperature. I'm pretty sure I did it right. Although I'm not sure now. Uh, I'll give you one shot and two shots, and I shall plant you, and we should be good. Right, you should be destabilized temperature. Right, so now I should be able to plant you. And that was down to 
down to 20 degrees, was it? I've forgotten now. So you're comfortable down to 20 degrees, but you can go down to zero. Oh, do I plant it at zero? No, it won't grow if I plant it at zero. I really want it to grow. So I've got to plant it at 20 degrees. Uh, yeah. Okay, you're thriving. Start you. Well, it was already at 20 degrees. Well, wow, that's a great temperature room, isn't it? All right, so. I actually need to grab you as a temperature. Temperature housing. Right. Now I keep pretty much all the same. I don't need a solar sensor because I've only got one of them. Uh, well, I only need to set it on one of them because that'll control it for all of them because it's using a batch right. Uh, so vent mode one mode pressure internal we shall set to a good growth area to help it grow. Uh, so you shall be to uh, 74 on the output. Uh, vent is on. Back pressure. That should be good enough, shouldn't it? Uh, goop. So um, export into there. Nice. Now, so if you are the temperature active vent, you are the pressure regulator. Oop, temperature pressure regulator. You are the display. Temperature display. You are the hydroponic. Did I name that one? I did. You are the sensor, the room sensor. And you are the nothing. Right, sets up to 75 degrees. The gas is circulating in there. We're down to 20 degrees in temperature. Uh, damn it, means I have to put an air conditioner in there to keep things warmer. Well, that's because it's 20 degrees out here. Is that because of that machine in there? It shouldn't be circulating that much gas. It's just cold out here. Ah, uh, okay. And I've got the wrong hydroponic station. So I've got it into you. That was one. Four, perhaps. Um, well, we'll go through them all one at a time, won't we? Um, Export. Uh, nope. Uh, two. So I said it was four, now it's going to be the fourth. Yeah, it is. It's going to be the last one. The one I said it was going to be. I said, let's, let's not worry about that. Let's start at the beginning. To an orderly fashion, not just guess. My guess was right. So you're growing goodly. And now it's daytime, you're getting some light in, so yours is going back up again. Now, if I turn that right down and take it outside of its comfortable range, it doesn't grow very well. Um. Right. Come on.
when the sun's out. You go, you got to be warming up. Yeah, you are warming up. Six, six, one, very slowly. Mm, but it depends how much how quickly you stuff at night. You've all gone down. Thriving, thriving, thriving. Oh, because I've got nothing planted over here. That's all right. Uh, you still haven't gone to poop. That's okay. Uh, whoops. That almost ruined it. Uh, right, paint you. Nope. Paint you. Boop. It's all painted now. I do get asked every episode. Yes, that is Elmo's network painting mod that is installed. That's how I paint all the cable with one squirt. Ah. Uh, And when I first installed that, I thought, oh, you'll probably just use it every now and then. You don't. You use it all the time. Uh, so, uh, yeah, that's something that comes in very handy. Uh, right. Now I have a temperature and pressure torment going on. I've just got to get my pollutant tank and hook up the other one. You are still growing okay. You're growing okay. Uh, yes, so I just got to wait for them to, to grow. Okay. And um, I'll hook that one up. I'll have to get me a tank of pollutant. Um, another stuff. I may have to get a temperature controller in there as well. And out here. Uh, but be worried about that today. So uh, we have made some progress. So now the plant genetics. These, this, this is the thing that I think is very cool with what they've done with all this sort of stuff. It's a uh, well, I should say when, when they put it in the game, I thought that's a really cool concept. Uh, why? Uh, they sort of gave you this without really a reason to use it. And we have talked about a, a new end game to it all, so my first thought went to terraforming. Um, and if terraforming is what they're planning for, well, uh, Elmo's gone and made a terraforming mod, so he's really stolen their thunder and their big surprise. Uh, whoops. But anyway, uh, it's all cool. But uh, yeah, this is what it's all about, because I mean, we, we had the ability to do this, but no real reason why. So, um,. Now we have a reason. Uh, right, but uh, there we go. Um, so what are we, day 90 now? How have we been going with our pressurising? A bit longer in. Oh, that was opening me visor. I thought I had that already done. Oh well. So we're another few days on. How have we done? Well, I've really not done much at all. I've just been sitting up in a room programming the bloody... Uh, thing is, oh, this is not where I want to be. I want to go down further. There's yet another rocket coming back. We are 76.62. Ah, uh, only... Yeah... 19.60... 1971. I'll give it a bit longer. <laughs> they don't like the answer. 1971. So we've got an extra 11 pascals. We will get to uh, 2 kilopascals eventually. <laughs> but uh, not today. All right. So I have moved this thing down here. This is my pollutant tank. I'll collect pollutant from the coal pollutant. And um, uh, you, so I should have a fair bit of pollutant in there. Uh, X in there is seven or six thousand seven hundred. So I shall suck that into that tank, and from that tank I can bring it into here, 
and I'll have a tank of pollutant to take up there. Then it's be very cold, so I don't think I'll need a heater in there because this will only be a tiny bit in the room. So uh, we'll see how we go. Uh, yeah, I haven't been putting much in there, so there won't be much in there. But uh, rockets are still working. Um, temperature's still moving very, very slowly. So I'll have to uh, optimize the old rockets coming back. Finish off that grow room. Um, you're sitting here very slowly unloading. You're mining. Uh, you're mining. Right, oh, okay. Well, yeah, there's still one of them here slowly unloading. But I can make that more efficient so we can work on them. Uh, work on the other torture room. And yeah, we've still got plenty to do. Uh, but that's about it for today. So, until next time, happy building. See ya.